In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sequentially schedule tasks in Excel. Now, there's many operations that have a, a series of tasks, but I'm just using this as an example. I found it on the internet. It's a list of um, steps to building a house. You, it's all based out of your start date here. And what I've got, I've got my start date um, on, on, the, on the row here, and I've dragged it so that it, it's about a year and a half down the road before it ends. And so the first thing I want to do is I wrote another little piece of code. And what it's going to do is it's going to mark off the Saturdays and Sundays because we do not work on the Saturdays and Sundays. And so let's go to macros and I'm going to run mark off. And so there you go. My weekends are all put in there. Um, O being off and I've got them conditionally formatted so it's grayed out. And so now we, we know we want to start building this house on the 15th. I am by no stretch of imagination a home builder. I am just guessing at these dates and I know that um, there would be um, several delays in between them. So give me the benefit of the doubt because I um, this is something I don't know but I know how to do the code. So let me run this. So uh, what it's going to do is it's going to schedule all the tasks in. So we're going to macros and I'm going to go task time and I'm going to run. And so if you start this house um, on the 15th of November, um, you will be able to finish this by um, the 13th um, of April, April in the next year. So let me show you the code and I'll show you what I've done. So the first little piece of code I'm going to show you is how I marked off the weekends. Now on my sheet, I, I use the weekday function above each of these dates. So the numbers are one to seven based on which day of the week they are and seven being Saturday and one being Sunday. So basically what this little piece of code is doing is it's saying um, going across these, if it's a one or a seven, then what you're going to do is select the range from the where, where the time is put on the thing. So four to 37 and you're going to put a zero in there. And then I've simply conditionally formatted it for it to be grayed out. So for the rest of the code, what I've done is I've called my sub task time and I have R and days as long, um, day and uh, start date as date, um, count, repeat as long, end date as date, and spot as long. Okay, so well, do while R is less than 38 because I have approximately 35 tasks on this. Start day equals active cell um, R4. So that's, uh, that's your start date right there. So R4. And then the next thing is our count. And our count equals uh, the duration here. So the next to the start date, we have the duration. And so that's what the count is. And so for columns, 6 to 250. I'm assuming this is going to take more than six months to create this. Active cells, row three, and the C that we're using up here. Select, and then if active cell equals start date, then that's the spot. Spot equals active cell column, and repeat equals zero. Active cell, cells RC select. If active cell is blank, so it's if it's if it's not equal to this, then active cell, you're going to offset by one. So it's going to step, step over um, weekends. Now, active cell value. So if it's not, if it is blank, then what you're going to do is put a W in there and then repeat equals one because there's zero here. So that's going to be one. End date equals active cell. So then it's going to put the end date in here, in the E column here. So the, the start date is going to be the end date plus one in, in the fourth column. Do while repeat, repeat is less than count. So we're, remember we put the one here. So then we're going to do the same thing over there until we get the, um, we get the repeat equal to the count and then it's going, going to go on to the next of them. So 
I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.